Have you seen Star Wars? <laughs> So Ryan Johnson is back in the uh, Star Wars media, if you will, the Star Wars news cycle. There's not a lot going on right now, so we're kind of clamoring to anything to talk about, anything to, to break news, and this isn't even really news, but it was interesting. There was a tweet sent out by a guy named Scott on Twitter, and he said, Say a genuinely nice thing about the Star Wars prequels. And Ryan Johnson replied with, Lucas made a gorgeous seven hour long movie for children about how the entitlement and fear of loss turns good people into fascists. And he's talking about Anakin Skywalker there. And did it while spearheading nearly every technical sea change in modern filmmaking of the past 30 years. Years And what Ryan is talking about in that last part is the digital technology that Lucas brought into the modern day filmmaking that we have now during the prequel era and even during 1997 when he did the special editions that was also a big part of revolutionizing the film industry if you will. It was kind of the, the start of things. And it's interesting to watch the fandom's reaction to Ryan's tweet and what he has to say about the prequels because there's a lot of Star Wars fans, and I mean a lot. It's a very divided fandom on the thoughts of Ryan Johnson. People are divided on Ryan Johnson. He's a divisive character. He subverts expectations with his Star Wars films and his comments on those films and his responses to the fans. It has a lot of people questioning if they want him back in Star Wars and, his, and the thoughts on his Star Wars film and how that changed the outcome of everything. So you have a lot of fans who don't like the man, but they love the prequels. And they love using the prequels to show that they don't like Ryan Johnson, where they're like, look at Revenge of the Sith and The Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones and compare that to The Last Jedi and these films are better. But we always debate the films. But now the question is, are, are prequel fans going to jump on the Ryan Johnson train now? Are they going to praise Ryan Johnson for paying his dues, if you will, singing the praises to the prequels and George Lucas, the man, the myth, the legend himself? There may be fans who don't like his film, The Last Jedi, in the Star Wars universe, but doesn't mean you can't like his opinion or agree with his opinion on the prequels. And I think he gets a large part of it right, at least from the perspective of Lucas, because one thing that Lucas told Ahmed Best back in uh, 1999 when there was that backlash towards Jar Jar, George told him, he said, you know, don't worry about what the adults are saying. Once, if we can hook the kids, you have fans for 20 years. And I, a lot of original trilogy fans, people who grew up with the original trilogy, I call them OT purists, I would call myself that as well, have said things like, are the children really interested in the politics that are involved with the prequels? And as someone who grew up with the prequels, I would say no. I mean, I remember skipping through a lot of Attack of the Clones because a lot of it was political and went over my head. But I still got into Star Wars because of the prequels. I can't deny that they were a large part of my childhood and they're a large part of what got me into Star Wars and that was Star Wars for me growing up. I mean, I of course watched the original trilogy on VHS all the time, but seeing the prequels in theaters was my Star Wars experience and my childhood. So for a lot of people like me who grew up with the prequels, we're now huge fans of it. And Lucas is right, and maybe Ryan Johnson is right, that those films were made for children, and now that those children are older, they're still Star Wars fans because of those films. And even though some of us may have grown out of those films a little bit and have different opinions on them, maybe some of us who didn't like it back then, like the original trilogy fans, now look at them and say, hey, you know what, they, they kind of grew on me. And that can be a debate the fans have for another 20 years, another 30 years. We've been doing that for a while now. Well, if the prequels are meant for kids and Star Wars being for children and how the adults should look at it now. But one thing we can't debate is how revolutionary Lucas was with the prequel trilogy. He was the first filmmaker and director to actually want to go in to digital technology. Instead of using normal film, he went to digital cameras. And that changed everything. Using the blue screen and the green screen and, and using the technology they had over there at ILM to create Jar Jar, that led to creations like Gollum from Lord of the Rings and Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. There's a lot of great franchises that have used ILM and the technology that they have that stemmed from the prequel trilogy. Lucas changed the industry with the first Star Wars film. Special effects were never the same again. And then he changed the industry again when it came to the prequels and the digital technology that he brought forth. And that actually led to the revolutionary technology we have again with The Mandalorian from Jon Favreau. You have the stagecraft technology that was largely inspired by what Lucas was doing. And that's kind of what the goal that Lucas was setting out to do. 
I asked myself for the past five years how could Star Wars revolutionize the film industry again, and to be honest it doesn't seem like the sequel trilogy did, but that doesn't mean the Mandalorian didn't, I mean that's one thing that's great about the Mandalorian is using that stagecraft technology is something that we've never done before. So we're changing the industry one more time and I wonder if we could do it again, maybe the trilogy that Ryan Johnson's supposed to work on, maybe Ryan Johnson can do something to surprise us all and revolutionize the film industry yet again in the Star Wars universe. I think that would uh, really speak to his credit as a filmmaker and really you know, print his name on as a, a great director in the Star Wars universe. Because even after The Last Jedi, I think it was so divisive, Ryan Johnson could kind of not, uh, not prove his worth to the Star Wars fandom, but maybe prove a lot of his critics wrong. Because I, I think he's a solid director, I don't think he's a great writer, but if he comes in with his new trilogy and he completely revolutionizes the film industry like Lucas did, I, I would be very impressed and, and I would uh, sing his praises for sure. So we'll just have to see what happens if the Ryan Johnson trilogy truly does start up in 2026. I'm curious to see the fans' reaction to his comments on the prequels and uh, praising Lucas the way he did and speaking a lot of truth and a lot of facts. I mean, I don't... I don't personally see anything wrong with what he said, so tell me your thoughts below. What do you think about Ryan Johnson's comments on the prequel trilogy and George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars himself? I'm Star Wars Only. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help out the channel. I will see you all next time, and may the Force be with you, always.